Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospa Missions and Abode for Children. You know, <clears throat> we work hard all year long trying to bring our, our Lord to people. And this past weekend, I had the honor of attending an ordination of a young man who uh, started in an altar boy program. I started back in 2008 at our parish in Corpus Christi um, uh, Catholic Church in Colorado Springs. And I remember starting this program, they had 60 servers, 40 of them were girls, 20 of them were boys, and one boy over the age of 10, I do believe. And over the next year, we built a program that encouraged boys to serve at the altar. John, uh, Pope St. John Paul II said in Redemptiona Sacramentum, you need to build and encourage, build uh, organizations and societies and to encourage boys to serve at the altar. That is the garden of the priesthood. And that's where the fruits are going to come from. And he was one of my first uh, young men that came back to serve. And I remember we started Holy Week of 2008. And I had to run up to Denver to get cassocks and surpluses. For these young men that came back and I had probably about 15 of them that came back uh, to serve older boys you know they were 12 13 years old and they wanted to be part of this because it encouraged them and they were called acolyte server trainees and then we still had the little guys and we had some girls that served and they were in uh, the white robes but these young men ended up staying around until high school, and then we came up with Acolyte Server. So they got a new surplus with red crosses on it, and they were so proud. But they also had to do um, a, an apologetics course throughout the year with their parents. And, you know, it was good to go back because not only has this program provided uh, fruits, and you'll know it by its fruits, there's eight young men, I do believe, in the seminary currently. I think they have two more going in this year from this parish alone. That's not including they have another young man that went into uh, FSSP order. My own son went into the seminary for a couple of years and discerned out, and that's okay. They've had probably another seven or eight that have gone into the seminary, but yet have discerned out that that's not where God's calling them. And that was part of the whole gist of it. It was to encourage these boys to even be open to God calling them to the priesthood. So we had nights at the altar. You know, once a month we'd get together and have pizza with them. And I'd have people come in and talk. I had Catholic businessmen come in and talk. Bishop came in and talked. Uh, single laymen came in and talked. Priest. But it gave them an opportunity to look at what it means to be a Catholic man in this world. And how do you live your faith each and every day? So I was kind of in awe. I mean, all these young men, I mean, there were, what, four or five seminarians from the parish there that served Mass um, and served the, the first Mass of Anthony, Father Anthony. And I was just really taken back. I mean, it was just beautiful. Um, I was able to get a blessing from this young man, and I'm so proud of them all that, you know, we want to we want to grow the priesthood. Let's get boys serving back at the altar. It's not a right to serve at the altar. It's a privilege. And they can complete the path. If you, if you think about it, two boys going up with the water and the wine and the bowl and the cruets, they can step into the position of the priest and deacon. They can finish that path to Calvary. I know people are going to say, oh, you can't keep girls from serving. Why not? They're never going to become priest, not in the Catholic church. I know it's controversial, but if we want to save the priesthood and we want to grow the priesthood, this is the way to do it. Mark your calendars, August 3rd, we're going to be holding a retreat at the uh, Highfield Community Center. We still have some tickets left. Go on to gospa.org, 
You can see, click, get your tickets for the retreat. We're looking forward to a great retreat. We have some great speakers, some really holy priests coming in to hear confession. We're going to have adoration. Uh, we have the relic of St. Padre Pio's gloves going to be there and some other relics of some Capuchins. Uh, a first class relic of uh, Blessed Solanus Casey um, is going to be there also. And it's going to be a great retreat. If you're looking for a pilgrimage, we're going to do a pilgrimage to Medjugorje um, in honor of Tom. Tom is our founder, and we're going to be doing a trip to Medjugorje in October, October 13th through the 21st. If you're interested in that, go to 206tours.com forward slash GOSPA, G-O-S-P-A. And of course, if you need to buy a, a gift for someone, why not give them a gift that'll lift their faith? Go to gospa.org, go into a search. You can go look at our categories. There's something in there, and it's free shipping. So don't forget one thing this week as you go forward. Keep praying for priests, but also Jesus loves you. Have a great week.